We're going to create a opportunity for a new buyer. Things are pretty much identical for a seller, so I'm going to duplicate the, the video after I do this and uh, just tell you what's different in the seller during this video. So I'm here in command. We have opportunities. I can go to create opportunity. We always leave the market center as Grand Junction. Uh, we can, I still don't fully understand what this does, so hang off on that. Client, we're creating one for uh, Elliot Hackinson, Hankinson, right here is Elliot. Uh, by the way, this is, he's going to be a buyer, so click buyer. If it's a list, a listing, you click listing. We're going to start doing these for um, talent, and possible agents are going to be tenant. Maybe. Anyhow, co-buyer is Tiffany Hankinson. Now, if the buyer is linked as a spouse in contacts, it'll automatically say, "Hey, this person's related." So we can put Tiffany in as a co-buyer. For the opportunity name, Elliot Hankinson works. Let's change it to Hankinson though, so it's not just Elliot. And we're gonna leave buyer in there. Now, if this was a seller, we would name the opportunity the address of the property, not the, not the buyer or seller's name. The opportunity will show Hankinson until we go under contract, at which point we need to change the name to the address of the property. We're not using tags yet on the opportunities. We've got tags on the buyer and seller though. Estimated close date, you don't have to put anything in here, um, especially if you're not really sure, we can put that in later. Time frame, uh, you know, there are these people are a three month. We don't really have to put anything in there. It's okay if we don't. Their budget is 540,000. We don't have to put that in, but it's good if we do. And commission rate. We do have to put this one in. This one's in the Glenwood Springs area. So the typical commission that we get on the MLS is two and a half percent. Opportunity phase. They are in appointment. I have an appointment with them. And we are in scheduled. So gonna hit that and say create. This takes us to the view of the opportunity. Um, you see the stuff that's filled in and uh, over here. So this one has a referral on it. So we can and should put some notes in here. You can put the notes in on the timeline. I'm going to go to my email, which is where everything lives for this one. So the referral for this one is from Kristen Sullivan at Insight Realty. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put that in the timeline. How do I add that to the timeline? I used to be able to add it to the timeline. Oh, to the notes. And add it to the notes. Add a note. Referral agent information. Paste. Save note. There we go. We've got that info in there. Um, that is pretty well adding an opportunity. Uh, when we go to Active buyers, we don't see them in there. When we go to appointment, we see them right here under scheduled. Now we're using this for this system. Um, today I'm going to confirm the appointment. Uh, are we going to use this? I don't know. That's how you create it. That's how you create an opportunity. 